That is very weird. Speaker mode. We're at World of Concrete for 2024, and we're in the Diablo. Pretty good, huh? What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And in this video, we have special guest James with us because he is the resident DeWalt guy. He's been using one of DeWalt's newest little pieces of tech. We're gonna give you all the specs, features, functions. It's their Jobsite Pro Max neckband earphones with speakers. We were fortunate enough that when we were at World of Concrete for 2024, we were in the DeWalt booth. Okay, you could see that coverage here. One of the gentlemen that represented DeWalt was like, hey, I'd love to get your opinion on these new headsets. Can you take them back with you? I knew exactly who to give them to. Thank you. These aren't actually out yet until March. Now, if you're past March 2024, you could probably grab them. I don't know a price point for them. What do you think of them right away? How long have you been using them? So far, I've been using them for a little bit longer than a week, using them every day. So far, love them, especially compared to what I used to have to use as far as communications devices on jobs. And it, it all depends. If I was working with my hands that day and I had my DeWalt rig on, yeah. I would keep my phone up in the phone pouch, upside down so I could hear the speaker or hear the phone ring. Okay. If I'm, you know, if I'm not in the car on the Uconnect or, or whatever I may be using, um, I would usually use AirPods, but these way better than, than wearing AirPods. I could immediately say that these would be better, even if they fell out of my ear. I don't have to worry about them falling into On the, the floor job and site losing them. and losing them because they're tethered. Oh yeah, this neck band, very comfortable. I, to be honest with you, it, it's kind of like, I don't, after the first day or two, I didn't even realize I was wearing it. I walk around at home with it, sometimes forgetting to take it off. The one thing that I really like is that it gives you multiple different types and styles of earpieces within the kit. It does come with a instruction manual, but then here are the other solutions that they give you for earpieces. They're the over the ears, memory foams, kind of, I call them the step bit earplugs, and then different sizes of the originals too. Because sometimes, especially like with the AirPods, if it's in my inner ear for too long, it starts to aggravate me a little bit, starts to irritate my ears. So I could either go speaker mode with these, or I could just change out to a different style earpiece and go over the ear or, or a little bit further on the outer part of the ear. A lot of times, like if, if you're calling me and I'm on a job and I need to hear or be cognizant of what's going on, because these will drown out noise. They are very, very good. Yeah. I'll keep one in and one out, still be able to hear perfectly fine. It seems that you could hear me on the other end of the phone just fine, and I could still have my peripherals. Beautiful. You could adjust your straps here so that they could be hanging in the back. Okay. You could adjust these straps forward to make the tethering or the, the wiring longer. And it's, it's you know, a nice little adjustment. I, I, I don't, I, I kind of just leave it where it is, but you know, it's a nice little adjustment. It came out of the box pre-charged. I topped it off. Haven't had to charge it again since. Wow, so you're telling me you've been using it two weeks and you haven't had to recharge that thing? And I've used just about, I've used it for pretty much all my daily phone calls while I'm on the job site and listening to the radio. How does it charge? Uh, so it's got this charging port right under here with a USB-C charger. Very easy to pair. So originally out of the box, paired right up just by holding the power button down for six seconds. And it actually tells you, there's a little sticker. It actually tells you pair, hold down for six seconds. There's an audible beep and a vibration every time you power these on and off. So there's no like, hey, is it on, is it not on? And you also get this little indicator light to tell you that it's on, which is cool because I'll be working sometimes and be like, oh, did it? Oh yeah, it is on, I can see my indicator light. When your phone rings, when I get a text message, these vibrate. Okay. You could feel them. If things are going on, I can't hear my phone, I miss a call, no more, these vibrate, which is awesome. Volume controls, here and here. They also change uh, your, your station or your track if, you're listening, if it's paired with your phone and you're listening to music, which is a nice little feature. So I don't, I don't know that we even had talked about that yet at this point. So they're, they're a headphone solution for making phone calls. Yes. But they're also for listening to music, audio books, any, any audio coming out of, you have it paired to an iPhone. 
So you can listen to music and it will toggle through your tracks and such. And the even better part, what you had talked about, what, if you want to listen to audio books or podcasts or music or if you're on the phone, they have this EQ mode, this EQ speaker setting that if you hit that button, it kind of optimizes your listening depending upon what you're listening to, whether it be an audio book. And then sometimes, well, a lot of times actually when I'm listening to the music, the sound quality on these are so good that... I'll just let it play out of the speakers and the guys that are working with me could hear it too. So, so <clears throat> in addition to you having the headphones in, there's actually two speakers on the side yes. here. So here's a couple of facts I want to go over. 60 plus hours of earphone runtime, they're claiming. Jimmy has said that he's actually been wearing them for two weeks. Yeah. So you can see how little he actually works. <laughs> IP56, it says water resistant, dust resistant. So it is rated. So these are product number DXMA1902093 if you wanted to look them up. They do indeed have a limited lifetime warranty. Nice. So that's pretty cool. I wonder though exactly what that covers. Sure. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you drop it in a bucket of water, I'm sure that. Yeah, I don't think that IP56 rating is gonna cover the yeah. headphones. One other thing that I didn't mention earlier, and it's not listed on the box, that is a little bit different than some of the AirPods or, uh, Air or, or different earphones is, you could pair this to multiple phones if you have two different phones, well, and that. you don't have to switch back and forth. Now, I only have one phone, but I was testing it with one of the other gentlemen on the job site who has the older model of these, and you could actually pair back and forth pretty seamlessly, which is pretty cool. All right, here's the deal. Uh, what price would you pay for them? And not and not have to think about it too much. Like if I said these were twenty five bucks, all day. Okay, fifty bucks. Yes. Seventy five bucks. Yes. A hundred bucks. Yes. One hundred and twenty five bucks. Yes. One hundred and fifty bucks. Yes. One hundred and seventy five bucks. Yes. Two hundred bucks. Yeah, I think that would probably be right around the range. That's you see the tone of his voice. <laughs> it's a, yeah. It's for productivity for you. Well, for me, for somebody Especially. who's for somebody who's not always doing the same thing every day or doing multiple tasks throughout the course of the day. I may have a tool rig on for two hours and then be in a meeting for another two hours and then be at another place for another two hours. So just having this around me all day and just having that convenience is worth. Uh, maybe maybe worth a little bit more to me than, than someone else. Me personally, I probably wouldn't go beyond 200. Okay. I think that that would be my upper end. At that point, I would, I would anything beyond that, I probably would forego putting the smart device the in my head. I, I probably would. Honestly, I would probably destroy 50 <laughs> pairs of, of regular, corded, yeah. corded, corded headphones and spend $20, $30 a piece for them, like a dodo, instead of doing something smart like using and, it. And, and maybe I glossed over the importance of these being wireless. I mean, we didn't really talk about that convenience because there's a lot of other wireless, but yeah, I mean, you're, you're going from, me going from wired to wireless is huge because I don't have this in the way, that wire that's sure. constantly getting tangled or I'm trying to fish through my shirts. And that's the reason I forego using you know, the smartphone on job site because I would go wired and and I they do get ripped out. Yeah. Maybe they're new in terms of new applications. So I'm gonna call Jimmy. It's vibrating now, I can feel it. So it's vibrating. Yes. Now here's the question. You don't get a ringing out of here. No, no, just a vibration. So just a vibration. What about if you had a headset in? Would it ring in your in your ear? No, just a vibration. So only a vibration. Okay. No, I think I talked about the adjustments, the comfortability, the convenience of it. Um, and if you like, the when motion, Jimmy the gets to all the points right away and gets you through, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime, plus you'll get seven years of good luck. Jimmy, I know I appreciate, and I know that Steve over at the wall appreciates this video. I certainly appreciate Steve. Come on. Everybody. Get a call. <laughs> we gotta go. Hope to see you all on this next video. It's gonna be more DeWalt. You're gonna love it.